If I had one more Suzuki Espresso, which color would it have to be for it to be the primary car of choice? I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys answer in the comments below. So today we have the Suzuki Espresso. Now I must say this car has really surprised me. It's um, It moves very well. It's quite fuel efficient, has a small fuel tank, so it makes you feel good when you go to the petrol station and you put 200 Rand and you, you got more than half tank. You know, overall, it's a neat car. It's, it's, it's comfortable. It looks quite funky. It's very popular, as you can see. And the best part is it's under 200,000. So you get three variants in the Suzuki Espresso. You get the GL, GL Plus, and the S Edition. Now, the price ranges, <coughs> it goes from, so GL, you're looking at 170 just under 169,900. GL Plus is 179, so that's just about a uh, 9,000 and difference, and then 195 will get you the top of the range. Now, there are minor differences. I will let you know what they are. So you're looking at an average of 4.6 liters uh, average fuel consumption. The fuel tank, as I said, 27. It's a petrol motor, and it's a front wheel drive. It's really nippy. Uh, I have taken this car on the long road. On 120, it actually cruises quite well and you got two airbags for safety you do have ebd abs you do have stability control as well and you get a two-year service plan in the vehicle and a warranty of 200,000 kilometers now in the top of the range you will get a reverse camera and you get front you get front and rear well you get sorry not front you get rear pdc in all three variants but only in the top of the range will you get a reverse camera now it's very handy to have a reverse camera in any car and you know especially a, well a small car you have less of a chance to reverse into someone but because you're that small but as always a reverse camera always comes in handy. If you're taking the GL you're not going to get an auxiliary input you only get that in GL plus and the S edition which is at the top of the range and then also a actual USB port and Bluetooth connectivity comes from the GL plus and the S edition. 14 inch wheels on all the variants and you do get a partial vinyl and cloth interior. Surprisingly enough, it's a hatchback. Traditionally, a small boot is actually quite deep. I could actually fit in quite a lot of bags. I'd say that the boot is more than adequate. Interior comfort, you know, bear in mind, you're paying under 200,000 for this car and it really is. I mean, you can see by the amount of Suzuki, I'm sure you, if you haven't noticed a lot of Suzuki Espressos on the road, after seeing this video, you will be, you know, there'll be, there'll be spotlights in your mind. And when, if, when you drive now, comment below and let me know if you have already seen a lot of Suzuki Espressos or if after watching this video, you start noticing them. There's the rear PDC I was telling you about. Some people do critic the, the look of the car. You know, if you're buying a car uh, at this price point, I'm not sure how much looks would be important. You know, you just want a car that's fuel efficient. You want a car that's going to take you from A to B. And something that is reliable, the car did actually hold its own weight quite well on the road. In terms of power and torque, you got only 49 kilowatts and a maximum torque of 89 newton meters. But then again, it's a budget car. It's going to take you where you need to go. And it's a brilliant car. So guys, that's it for the Suzuki Espresso. What do you guys think? It's a small car but then again you know dynamite does come in small packages thanks again for watching remember to subscribe to the channel share this with your friends and family maybe you know someone that's looking for a hatch i'll see you guys in next week's video